Hey Wizards, Sean here and the prices of cryptocurrencies today are falling and I wanted to help you get some perspective here. When you look at the total market cap, right now it's at about 600 billion. In fact, when I looked this morning, it had gone down to 500 and something. So it had actually broken a key support level. And when we look at this bubble graph, it looks like the end of cryptocurrencies is nice. So first of all, let's get some perspective because the market only really started three months ago. So we've got a three month time frame. Now I can see there's much more of a trend going on here. There's quite a strong trend line actually upwards. Now I bought some NEO today and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. What else could happen with price? Price could also go up. So the total market cap and all the prices could actually move upwards and the market could grow. We're not trying to predict the price. We're trying to trade based on the behavior of what this animal is doing. And the animal is us. This chart is a fantastic reflection of human behavior. And that's what I want to get people's mindsets into not trading for the sake of making a short term gain. And when I say trading, I mean hodling, not investing for a short term gain, investing based on where you know that sentiment will change. You see, the value of the market today is not undervalued. It's not overvalued. It's six hundred and three billion dollars. That's the value of the market today, because you and I have said so based on our buying and selling decisions. Let's take an example. Would you have sold here if you believed that your the value of your holdings was going to go up 100 percent? No. In fact, I'm going to write this down. Price equals perception. So what are we trying to trade here? We're trying to trade the change in perception of the market. Let me give you a scenario and an example, and then I'll explain why I bought some NEO. Let's say that prices crash. They go down to around this level, 250, 300 billion dollars, and the market halves itself in value. The news on cryptocurrencies is terrible. Lots of scams, lack of real world value come out. Buffett's having a field day because he called it. Everybody's selling. Some people have lost like two hundred thousand dollars normal everyday people who had made 200 grand and then lost it, their hopes and dreams gone. Cryptos has a terrible name and nobody wants to buy. That's when I'll be putting all of my money into into cryptocurrencies, because my belief is that we have a, a new technology here that will have real world value in cases. People will panic and sell and buy because the perception of the value has gone. But what I'm trading based on is the belief that that perception will change again. And most people don't trade like that. They try and predict price. They get told, cut your losses short, let your profits ride. Some of that is true, but it depends on the behavior of what you're trading. So what we're doing over here is not predicting price. We are trading the behavior of human psychology. When I look at a price drop like this, I know that it's still at a key support level. It could bounce back. Does that mean I take 10 grand and throw it in the market? No, I took like 250 pounds or three hundred dollars and bought some near because if the price goes down more, I'm going to sleep at night. And if the price prices go down here, I'll buy even more. Prices are going to go crazy. You cannot predict price, but you can trade based on what the market gives you. And the market is the market is the market. The fact that I bought some today, if the price rockets up, I've made some money. I haven't made a lot of money. I'm not going to retire on that money, but I won't have the FOMO. I won't have that feeling of, oh, my word, you know, prices were so cheap and I never got some. So I just put a little bit in. Okay, so what's happened with NEO? NEO comes crashing down to this level over here. I managed to get a little bit of NEO over there. And why have I bought some NEO? Well, when we go back and we look at the total picture on coin market cap and we see that the prices have dropped. I want to know what the real believers in cryptocurrency are doing. The people who really know their stuff and believe in cryptocurrency and are buying the right assets in cryptocurrency. This drop to me was a real indicator that there's been a panic sell. So I bought some over here. That's when I got in. Anyhow, I'm really looking forward to doing a trading series for you. I hope you found that useful, guys. And until the next video,